20 values. Ethan, <coughs> all these 20 values put together is called jnanam, jnanam, knowledge. And the opposite of it, which you and I are living, is called ajnanam, ignorance. Funny. All these are qualities. How can these qualities add up to be the knowledge? And opposite qualities are ajnana, ignorance. <laughs> See? All vehicles. are called by the destination, the place of its destination, isn't it? Arketa bus. So you go to the bus stand, where is Arketa? There, there she stands. The third one, it, the bus is called Arketa, because it is going there. Once this bus reaches Arketa, <laughs> The board is changed. PRC. Another bus. San Francisco. Is it not true? Plane. You go to the airport and ask them which is the one that is going to San Diego or I mean San, jo San Jose. Oh, that one, two, three. The third one. You are a little late and you are running. You want to know which is one? And you are running towards it. Now you don't want to go to the wrong one and then go to the right one. So you ask the man at the gate. The man points out. What have I asked him? San Jose. And he says, San Jose stands there. If San Jose is standing there in the airport, then why did I purchase the ticket? My family is in San Jose. San Jose is standing there. Train, the same thing. Uh, excuse me, sir, uh, which is Madras? Madras! <laughs> Madras standing on the third platform. Third platform, Madras is there, then why did I purchase the ticket? My wife and children are in Madras. Madras is standing there, means the train that is steaming, ready to leave for Madras. That train is called Madras train. Delhi train, Calcutta train, Bombay train. The destination. Similarly, when you have brought about these revolutions in your quality of thought, your mind and intellect, the vehicle, is now fated to go seek and search and understand and realize jnanam, the direct knowledge when these noble virtues are with you. If the opposite values you are living, it is all geared for the OAT. And therefore they only reach Ajnanam, the non-apprehension and the consequent misapprehension. We live only in the world of plural.